Okay, this video is to show you how to measure the resistance across a TNC UHF connector on an iGauge IG8 receiver or an X91 Plus or an X900 Plus. So if your receiver doesn't have the UHF radio range that it used to have and you're sure it's not one of the other things in our FAQ, maybe you've got a bad antenna cable. And this video will show you how to test that. So we're going to set our voltmeter on the ohm setting. And this is the setting where if the leads aren't touching each other, it'll read overload. But if you touch the leads together, it reads some resistance really close to zero. In this case, 0.1 ohms. So if they're open, it reads overload or infinity. If you touch them together, it reads 0.1. So you can take the leads and you can go from the outside silver to the inside of the connector and you'll see that the resistance goes to 0.8 ohms. And it's the same whether you go from the outside to the inside. So in this case, I've got the plus on the outside and the minus on the inside, 0.8 ohms. Now put the minus on the outside and the plus on the inside, 0.8 ohm. It's symmetric. That radio is good. So the antenna wire that goes from this UHF connector into the radio is valid. If it reads infinity while they're touched, touching, then you know that the cable has come disconnected inside the head. If that happens, you should send the head back to us because it's fairly complicated to fix. Anyway. That's all there is to this quick and dirty measurement to see if the antenna cable inside your head is good or not.